Severe storm causes havoc in Charlotte area, road closures, damages, and safety precautions. Charlotte, North Carolina A powerful storm wreaked havoc in the Charlotte area on Tuesday, leaving a trail of destruction, road closures, and injuries in its wake. The storm, accompanied by heavy rain, strong winds, and potential tornado threats, prompted emergency response teams to take swift action. At 12 p.m., reports started pouring in about the storm's impact. East Independence Boulevard faced closure in both directions between Windsor Square Drive and Matthews Mend Hill Road due to downed power lines. Simultaneously, paramedics and first responders were conducting house-to-house -house searches for victims in Claremont, particularly in the Cindy Lane and Evening Drive area, where multiple injuries were reported following the storm. As the storm progressed, Interstate 85 North near Exit 23 in Gastonia was blocked, while Interstate 40 East reopened near Oxford School Road after a tree fell across both lanes. The city of Claremont issued a warning on Facebook about the bridge on Bethany Church Road being submerged, rendering it impassable. The storm's impact became more evident as it reached residential areas. A home on St. Francis Drive in North Charlotte suffered damage when a tree fell on it, leading to non-life-threatening injuries for one resident. In various locations, including Robinson Clemmer Road in Dallas and Westbury Road in Cotswold, trees fell on power lines, creating additional hazards. By 1 p.m., the storm's intensity had increased, bringing heavy downpours and wind gusts exceeding 40 miles per hour. Rainfall was expected to accumulate up to 3 inches, with the western counties of Cleveland, Gaston, Burke, and Lincoln experiencing the brunt. Charlotte was anticipated to receive 2 to 3 inches of rain, raising concerns about potential flooding. Charlotte City Manager Marcus Jones took proactive measures by opening the Charlotte Mecklenburg Emergency Operations Center, anticipating power outages, downed trees, and severe weather conditions. The storm prompted a tornado risk, particularly in eastern parts of the region, with conditions expected to improve after 5 p.m. Emergency officials advised residents to stay vigilant and report any blockages or hazards to local authorities. The storm's aftermath was felt beyond physical damages, as residents expressed concerns about the saturated ground from previous rains, potential tree falls, and the looming threat of rivers overflowing. As the region braced for continued severe weather, emergency response teams remain on high alert, urging residents to prioritize safety and remain informed about changing weather conditions. The storm's impact serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of weather and the importance of preparedness in the face of such natural disasters.